What it is, guys? It's for Roy Jay Z. So we back at it again, another video. So basically, we're gonna like trying to do daily uploads. So yeah, so for today's video, we're gonna try to bypass the governor. We're gonna really see because somebody wanted me to do bypass. Basically, with this motor, I'm gonna do all the basic stuff. So if anybody need to know like what you can do with a stock motor to get power, I'm gonna do it for y'all real quick. You feel me? Before I start adding the carburetors and the cam, the billet rods, the billet flowers, and all that. So for today's video, we'll be bypassing the governor. And if you got any type of video you want me to do before I start adding my race parts to the motor, let me know before I start doing that stuff. But yeah, we're finna bypass the governor. We're gonna see how fast we get with that. Without the governor, with, with the governor in, we was only doing 35, so we're gonna see how fast we can go. So let's get into it. All right, so you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket. You feel me? Some slight. Then this right here, this gonna get explained later in the video. You're gonna need one of these right here. But this is, this. I'm gonna explain this later for y'all. But yeah, man, what you wanna do is, basically remove all of this so you want to remove the um carburetor filter and you want to remove the gas tank that's really all you need to remove right now so yeah man. Okay, get to the gas then you're gonna need a 10 minute ra ratchet which i'm gonna take the gas tank off So it come with like two washers, you feel me? When you feel me, just take this whole assembly off. So loosen up the bolt, the screw that you um that you got your um throttle connected to, you wanna loosen that up. So once you got this removed, this is like the old thing that you connect your throttle to. You just got to remove all of that, all of that extra, not the stuff that don't matter. Just remove all that. So next thing you're going to do is you're going to be connecting your throttle to this hole right here. You can drill it out a little, a little bit more or you can leave it like that. But make sure that the wire on the throttle do not break apart because that's how you're going to weaken your throttle. Then over time, it's going to start messing up. Then... All right, one of these, one of these, this spring right here, this spring right here, we're gonna be connecting it to your your um pull starter. One of these openings right here, so the throttle can return back, or you can connect it to the gas tank when you put the gas tank back down. But for right now, we're gonna be setting up the throttle for right now. And then we're gonna worry about that a little bit later in the video. All right, so grab the throttle and just push it through this hole. It's the second hole, and grab it. Remember when I told you you're gonna need one of these. This is what holds the throttle on so it won't slide out. Or you can figure out another way to do it. You just need the throttle to get hold, stuck in the hole so it won't move nowhere. And that's where this come in. Just basically hold it down and clamp onto the throttle cable. So after everything is hooked up, you hook the throttle up to the hole. You, um... Put your little set screw to hold the throttle cable in because it's not going to have a ball at the end. Then you set the wire to the back of here. You can set it here or here, but it's all up to what you want to do. Then you set, it's, it, this going to be on the governor. This going to be one of the um, springs we get that come with it. You just put this spring anywhere you want. You put it here, here, or here, but it's really all up to you. And that's basically all you got to do. You just, just take off all that stuff, all of this unnecessary stuff right here. And that's basically all you got to do. Then you just got to set the throttle to a second hole. You can drill this hole out if you want to. Or you can figure a way how to squeeze it through there without messing up the wire like I did at the end. But that's okay. And you just put this on a spring. You can put it here, here, anywhere you want. But that's basically all you got to do. Then we're going to test it out and see how fast we get. But yeah, man, just do this at your own risk. You might blow the motor. Because we're going to govern there without an um, upgraded rod. It can cause some failure to the motor. But that's all up to what you want to do. You feel me? But yeah, man gets the top speed all right so every before you even mess with your like start your bike you always want to um lean up against the wall before you start it because the throttle can be stuck you can cry you know mess something up so be anytime you mess with your throttle this thing right here you always want to lean up against the wall before you start it you feel me because you don't want you know you got whiskey throttle and all that you can hurt yourself and all that so you feel me so yeah man we're good the throttle is not stuck but you want to play with it real quick and make sure that this spring, this spring right here is returning. You're returning the throttle, the throttle back to close. 
So let's mess the throttle a little bit. You feel me? So yeah, we're good. That's that's anytime you mess with a throttle, add a throttle to your dirt bike or anything. You lean it up against the wall. You feel me? So yeah, man, we finna let the bike warm up. We're gonna do a test speed, top speed running. We're gonna see how fast we go. So yeah, man, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we are at the legendary test spot. So my top speed always been 34.3. So we finna test it out. This is with the governor bypass. So we're gonna see how fast we get can get with the governor just bypass. So let's get to it, you feel me? This is done by a professional, so do not try this at home. See what I mean? Look in uh All right, let's see. I know we went a lot faster than what we normally go. All right, we're doing 45 with the governor bypass, so we're doing good speed. So this actually do work. Governor bypass and actually do work. So you see 45.4 miles per hour. But if we're gonna do it for a, a longer stretch, so let's get to that one. Here we go. Let's see how fast we went 45 all right so we're gonna try it this is gonna be the last time we try it we're gonna just max it out but you normally don't want to sit on throttle for too long with the governor like bypass well it's a less of chance blowing them order up with the governor bypass but once you remove the governor i would not i would not recommend you sit on full throttle because there's a chance of you blowing your motor when you just sit in full throttle without the governor and the motor you're gonna need a rod and a flywheel can you blow the rod. The rod is not meant for the RPM that we're going at. So yeah, man. Yeah, that's probably gonna be the end of the video. So yeah, man. If you're new to the channel, and if this video helped you in any type of way, make sure you uh, drop us up to the channel if you're new. Then if you got any more videos y'all want me to do before I upgrade this motor to like a carb and a cam and all that, make sure you comment down below before I do that. Because I'm probably gonna try to be doing that in the next couple of weeks before the ride out so yeah man make sure y'all uh, comment down below and let me know i might even keep it like this 45 is not that bad but yeah man thank y'all for um, tuning in and thank y'all uh, for watching